Hello, welcome back. Did you? Did Hi. You have Hi. A... Hi. Did you have a good break? Uh, yeah. Great break, but uh, but uh, we we have to stay uh, stay at Shanghai because if we uh, go out then come back we, we need to have some quarantine rules it's very strict rules especially for the family uh, having the children uh, hmm. so, so are you, just, able, uh, were you able to leave the house just not the city uh just uh, uh, in in the city in the city yeah yeah, yeah. but okay. it's not convenient to go outside of shanghai uh, right okay Uh, how, how about you? How about last week? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty, pretty good. Just um, chugging along. Lots of things for uh, for the KubeCon coming up. So yeah, okay. trying to yeah. trying to make some movement. Okay. The uh, the 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 PR three three sixty five uh, for the cozy support pronotation. Um, does that supersede the 302, the one that's in draft mode that Shiwei has from August 12th? Uh, 365, let me check. Uh, this one. Yeah, this one is for the code they work uh, of the notation CLI. Right, so the, so the 302 one, is, can that be just like closed out? The, the one that's uh, from August, that's in draft, uh, this one. Uh, which one, three, I just three paid, or... I just paid, yeah, I just pasted it, yeah, 302. 302, let me check. Uh, let me check the file chain. Welcome, Patrick. Hello. Hello. Hello, Pradesh. Hi. Hi, Pradesh. Hey. Uh, uh, for, for the 302. Uh, David, I think Patrick uh, just joined. Maybe we can ask Patrick. Uh, uh, I think 302, uh, we're going to uh, change it uh, to a PR and merge it. Uh, so then so will that be, but, but will that, I mean, because you already have the other one that is 365. Um, Let me check 360. Oh, 365. That's a, that seems like that's a newer one. Oh, okay. So three sixty five was was a draft. It oh no, nice. No, it's not. It's no longer a draft. On it's no longer a draft. Okay. And then you have three hundred two, which is a really old. It seems like, and it's still in draft mode. So I'm trying to trying to clarify. Um, and it looks like Shiway fourteen hours ago also approved three sixty five. Yeah, so, I think three sixty five. It's the uh, most current one. Okay, so then yeah. Shiwei just basically needs to basically get rid of the 302 one then. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll double check with him today. Okay. Um, and then it, and then once we have 365 merged, then technically we would have cozy support into the client, right? Yeah. Yes. Right, right on. Okay, uh, hello, Samir. Hello, Vanny. Hey, guys. Hi, Samir. Hey, guys. Sorry, some, we were delayed a little bit. Let's yeah. see. Uh, it seems, David, you're on a roll. May I appoint you the chair for this meeting and let us- Oh, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> sure, yeah. Um, so there, I mean, there's there's the agenda items that we have here. Um, 
I think that the more the most pressing thing for probably all of us and some to some extent is the the alpha four release. It seemed like there's a little bit of disconnect um, in what is the scope of well not the scope but the one PR that's left uh, for three seventy um, and that's the thing that is I guess holding up the the alpha four release and then uh, ye brought up that this is kind of going to break a bunch of things, I guess. Um, so I'd love to kind of just try and start by flushing that out so we can we can ideally get Alpha 4 released one way or another. Yeah, that sounds fair. Let's jump right into it. So we'd like to uh, like to understand what, what, what are the concerns from Shiva as to what will it break? Because that's the way forward. So we need to find those breaking points earlier if it's going to break something. So let's find those concerns first. So, so you, did you want to elaborate? Uh, yeah, for this uh, 370, uh, once this PR is merged, uh, the first thing is that we, we have this notation third, this function uh, won't work. Uh, so that means if this, uh, if we want to include this PR into alpha four, we needed to update uh, the notation third gate uh, command, or we needed to mention that this command uh, will be deprecated because it, it, it doesn't work for the trust store. The user needed to 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 do some manual work, but we we don't have uh, we don't we don't have a, a guideline ready yet. This is the first thing. Uh, another thing is that we have several documents, for example, uh, hello sign and also. Uh, from error side, we, we have another document to, to sign using notation and the, the plugin. So if we uh, have this uh, PR merged, we needed to also update that document. We also needed to do more end-to-end -end tests to make sure uh, it won't break that document. But based on our uh, testing, uh, it seems that if we only include this verify uh, using trust policy, trust store, that, that uh, document will be break. Okay, so if I'm getting it right, for both of them, it's a process thing that we'll have to update our documents that this is the new way trust store, trust policy has to be used. So we'll have to go and update our documents for anybody using it um, for the second part. And for the first part, you said the third add command won't work. Uh, the third yeah. add command, as I understand, is still being developed by us for RC1, right? It is still in flight. Uh, uh, yes, uh, because uh, because that PR verify using trust or trust policy doesn't match this uh, notation third command. Uh, and we, we have ongoing work. Uh, I prepared uh, the third, a new third spec for using trust store and the trust policy. So, mm -hmm. but, but that is planned for, for RC1. Of course, we, we, we can make it early into alpha four, but I mean that if we want to merge that, uh, uh, that 370 PR, this PR, we need to include many other things. That so, will delay the alpha four release. So I, I understand, uh, but it's like trust store and trust policy was a major feature for verification, which we are launching, which will be a major, Customer experience, major customer experience. If we delay it to RC one, or if we delay it too much, we will be missing on feedback, and there would be a like at the last moment we will be making a breaking change. It's basically a non back. The trust policy is not a, it's a non backward compatible change because we will be dropping the su support of just verification right now, which we are doing. Well, the verification. Like the way I understand it, verification is still is still working. It's just working not using the trust policy, right? Yes, but then we'll be breaking that. The current verification, like user goes and adds certificate and just does verification, that won't be that way. It would be trust policy driven. User would have to define verification level and things like that. So yeah, the trust. So the trust store though would still work without merging this. It's just the trust policy is not gonna. It's not verifies. It's not gonna work with with the trust policy. Right? Yeah, but like user won't be able to execute the same command right now, which they have. They will need to do some additional steps without merging it. Or with uh, with merging it after merging that after merging the change. If we introduce trust and trust policy. 
user will have to do some additional steps. We'll have to create also, an address, we'll have to create a trust yeah. policy. Yep. And configure it. Right. Which to me, that makes a lot of sense that, I mean, we know it's going to be a, not a very good experience, right? Um, because we don't have anything to complement that right now. Um, so I would, I mean, in my opinion, once we have something that is, we think, you know, more reasonable for someone rather than just manually copying, pasting or creating JSON, um, right, then, then that would be a good time to get user feedback. I think I, I want to I want to give some background and clarify here. We we have we have talked about this a bunch of times now. Uh, the the existing notation cert command is is from the initial prototype, which adds certificate. I don't know if it has been modified, but that command adds it to a. I think in the config.json, it doesn't even go in the trust store. Uh, has it been modified that it goes in the trust store? No, nope, it haven't. Okay, so that the existing notation cert and how how it takes part in the verification process is completely off the spec. It's it's from the initial prototype to make it work. I don't even think it has the correct like the cert chain and all of those. It's just a signing cert. Uh, there's no cert chain associated, etc. Trust or trust policy is the spec that we developed afterwards with broad feedback. And that is the way we want to go. There's, there's two aspects to it. There's the security aspect uh, on motivations on why we need both trust store and trust policy. And there is the usability aspect. I understand that there are usability concerns on using the trust, trust policy, placing it in the correct places, but it's similar to any other policy language that you write, like a IAM policy, uh, or in uh, in Kubernetes, you have I, I forget you have you have a particular policy language there, uh, and look, I, I've I've iterated this before. Either it is in the JSON form or any other form, users will be exposed to the details of it. Uh, I'm just highlighting that there is there is no option where you have just a trust store and not the policy. They, they both need to work like they they together form the kind of the security guarantees that we give you. If you just rely on the trust store, that that gives you kind of half baked functionality. And and that is that is why we want to move away from the existing cert ad, which is from the prototype days, to the newer implementation. So, so, the, so that's kind of the background. Yeah. And then for, for upcoming KubeCon, like I, like, so we, we want to move in that direction. Uh, if there is more stuff to do to make, to enable that and to demo that, that, that is understandable. But I, I just want to agreement on that. We are, we're still going to like the final user experience is going to be trust or trust policy based. And we need to make it visible to users as soon as possible so that we can get feedback from them. Yes, so, so I think we're, I mean, like RC1, uh, we're all aligned trust store, trust policy. That's that's where we want to be. And I think the only question is just the in the now. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but and, you, gotta, you gotta recognize that like if, if you demo it without it, that's going to be different than what it will be in in RC1. And that that is a user, that's a different user experience. Yeah, I think I think though that part of the I mean, part of what we have for RC1 as well, though, right, is is having a, an actual CLI experience that makes things better for users, right? By RC1. Yeah, by, uh, yeah, I, I, I we won't. again, it's a, it's a usability thing. It does, it like, like if, if push comes to shove, there can be a RC1 without the trust policy related commands and users can still make it work. You can have instructions on it. I just, uh, just to confirm uh, that, uh, Malin, uh, trust policy experience by CLI is not in RC1. Yeah, I think we have the trust. I think we have the trust store, but I, I also think that that's one of those things where we we need to do. Even if yeah, 
we need to do something um, to try and help people, even if it's create a, create a template or something like that, right? Um, but, uh, yeah. But, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, just to call it out, just stress. But right, but right now, I mean, yeah, but right now, regardless of the, whether the trust policy is in RC1 or not, I mean, I think the reality is, do we, do we really want to release something that we know is going to be a bit painful for users to experience right now, even though from a security standpoint, I mean, it makes sense, obviously, to have the trust store trust policy in, in effect, but um, we already have a lot of hurdles <laughs> right now just to have the end-to-end -end workflow kind of function, and we add more by, by doing this right now without, without a supporting experience. I think the call out is if you if you choose to demo without it, it I, I would recommend calling out that there is a policy piece coming up and the verification is just not reliant on a certificate. Uh, that that might give a like a a different impression of what the verify workflow looks like, where you just added a cert and verification, then you can do verify, whereas the actual experience is you need to set up both the trust policy and the trust store before you can run verify. If you also have a policy, it's not going to verify. Also, there are a bunch of features like filtering, scoping, which will which are not there in normal ones. Uh, All right. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I I posted a link about the verify CLI aspect. Actually, this will uh, address what we uh, just uh, talked about. Uh, so. Uh, so I mean, uh, ex uh, besides this verify using uh, using uh, trust policy and trust store, we needed to have the spec ready. So so I prepared this spec, and in this spec, I explained how to configure trust store by using the new uh, notation third command, and also how to configure trust policy. Maybe you can take a look. And for uh, the new third command, it is already in another. Dev RC1 branch, I have verified and it, it works. So, uh, because previously we, we have too, too many uh, PRs needed to be merged. So, so we have some implementation, implement, uh, implementation work. We, we, we don't want to be blocked by the PR review. So, we, uh, we, uh, we, we did that implementation on a separate branch. Is dev as a one branch, and in that branch we have this verify command ready for for uh, the trust store management. And with this spec, we we will show the user how to uh, manage the trust policy in a very brief uh, introduction. So maybe you can you you can take a look. Uh, I mean, if we want to have this uh, uh, verify command merged, we we need to also have this uh, uh, CLS spec reviewed and also maybe plan some other PRs to be merged. Then, then we, we will have a complete story for the trust policy and trust store. I think the, I think the difference is that there's some nuance here I want to call, call out. In alpha three, the integration with trust store and trust policy in notation go library is already implemented. From a, from a CLI perspective in the verify command, there's nothing additional that you specify related to trust or trust policy, right? The, the verify automatically takes those into account. Those are configuring the trust store and trust policy are preconditions to using verify. So the, the gap in alpha three was we implemented trust store trust policy aware logic in notation go, but they, we didn't hook it up in the CLI. Uh, that was the PR that Rakesh, Rakesh submitted. I just want to say that we 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 don't need to block on finalizing the verify CLI experience and other pieces uh, for this piece. You just need to it it still works works the same way. The, it's the same verify command. There's no additional parameters related to trust or trust policy in the verify command. Uh, Notation Go has all the functionality to use the trust or and trust policy if it is present. That, that's what this PR did. Uh, uh, it, so yeah, we, uh, we can make incremental progress. I, I do recognize that for the KubeCon, we don't want to make bigger changes that affect a lot of other like examples, documentation requires testing, et cetera. 
So, so it's okay to like, I think one thing more would want to understand is from, there was interest in cutting a alpha four without the trust policy, trust store integration. What, what is the delta from alpha three to alpha four then that, that we achieve with the notation alpha four release? Uh, for the alpha four, uh, I remember uh, maybe previously we didn't communicate this uh, very well because previously we think uh, the alpha three break that uh, self-signed circuit chain. So in alpha four, we will uh, relax it and the pretest uh, did that work. Okay. Uh, and, and for the trust policy, trust store, we understood that uh, it's ready in the notation library. Uh, that we think uh, uh, it is the correct data, but for the for the CLI part, it will be complete uh, before the RC1 release. So that's the reason why the verify uh, using trust policy, trust store from a notation CLI point of view, uh, it is not uh, merged into the main uh, yet, because we also did that work in, in the dev as a one branch, we, we, we have that implementation, but not merged back yet. So, yeah, so I think previously, yeah. yeah, maybe there are some misunderstanding. Here's what I, I would suggest. If, if the, if the desire is to cut a notation release that allows, allows demoing at KubeCon without making a bunch of changes and having to retest, et cetera, gives us the stability. Let's do that. Post alpha four, the, the PR that Rakesh had that integrates just the CLI to use the trust or trust policy, the functionality in the library. This one. Yep. Yeah, we should just take take that particular PR piecemeal that, that enables it. We are still in alpha phases. These can be breaking changes that switches us to using uh, trust or yeah. trust policy from the cert command. That, yeah, that, I'm good with that. Mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah. That, that does mean that after that switch, the existing notation cert add command, which is which doesn't add into the trust store, it adds in a file. That will stop working. Anybody that wants to verify has to set up trust or and trust policy manually till we finish up some of the other work related to the cert command. Or there are improvements around the verify command, etc. That um, I wouldn't like. Otherwise, it's a big bang where the trust or trust policy comes up when everything else is ready, and that that's kind of too late. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine with the approach of just merging it just after Alpha Four, and then um, I mean we are we have a, a ton of changes that um, the team has done already in the RC One branch. Um, so, so yeah, we we have we have a bunch that's going to fix and and update the experience. Does that how does that sound? Yeah. Uh, so let me repeat. So, so we can cut the alpha four release now without merge that uh, PR. And after that, we, we, we merge uh, the PR and also other stuff to release a new alpha release for the KubeCon release, uh, KubeCon demo. No, well, yeah, no. So KubeCon demo, I, like at least people will have the alpha four that has more stability and workflows and scenarios. That'll be the, the latest release for people to have. Um, you know, we'll go ahead and merge like this PR, other PRs, whatever, without cutting a release. Um, so that there's, you know, it'll it'll show up in the, the weekly dev build, um, but it's not gonna, right? It's 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 not gonna um, break at least the kind of the workflows that we have. Yeah, I think that the. So once, once that goes in, like post KubeCon, we, we do need to have a alpha phi release that has trust or trust policy support that may not have other pieces to make the usability uh, kind of ideal yet, but that's okay. These are still alpha releases. It will be incremental changes, but the trust policy trust or represents a, a good enough body of work and a change in user experience yeah. it needs to be its own release yeah well we also have we also have the cozy support which is like one pr now away from being implemented so yeah i mean mm -hmm. i would we would also like to see another like official release that 
gets feedback on that as well. So um, I'm, I'm all for having another release. I don't, I don't, I'm not, uh, I guess we can look at what we define as alpha versus beta. It might be worthwhile to call it a beta um, if we're, if we're not going to have any scares of <laughs> backwards compatibility type things. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm all for doing another uh, like release, even if it's shorter, um, like a week or two, two, two weeks out, like basically after KubeCon, <laughs> right? Uh, that, that is the 13th, right? The demo? Uh, the 23rd, the 23rd is, the week of 23rd is KubeCon. Um, and then, yeah, that's, I think that at least for me, that's, I mean, I'm doing a notation session. We have a notation booth. And as soon as there's another official release that has stuff that's broken, people start to try and reuse that right away, you know? So, um, um, yeah. 23rd is, I mean, 23rd is, um, that, that's like, that's two weeks out. Um, so alpha four, I think we should do now. I mean, I think we should have done it two weeks ago when this one we had it planned, but that's another story. Um, but I, I think we can, we should just go ahead and cut alpha four right now. And then we can merge this and other PRs right after, as long as we're not putting in an official release. You, you could do a demo off of alpha four, whereas the latest may be alpha five. I mean, give, I, I assumed I, I didn't track the KubeCon date. If, if the KubeCon is the week of 23rd, like by next week, we'll probably have Cozy and just the trust store PRs in. Then why would why should we block another two weeks to get? Yeah, if we can, I mean, if we can have a good a good user experience um, for a lot of things not being broken, I'm open to it for sure. But I just I just for now I, I at yeah. least know that there's a lot. I mean, this is it is a pretty significant shift, and we know that at least a number of things break. Um, and so I'd rather cut an alpha four now and then start yeah. merging yeah. And, and testing stuff, you know, before we just cut another one. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, cutting alpha four, um, the KubeCon demo can be based on that. So that there is a, there's a version, stable version to play with and fix any issues that, that come up. And once the other PRs are in, that can cut alpha phi, but just, just calling out again from a usability perspective, it just means adequate testing that scenarios are not broken. It doesn't mean that we have smoother configuration of trust or trust policy yet. Yeah. 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 That's, that's fine. We, I, yeah. I saw the, the note. You're right. We did agree that the, the CLI for trust policy is not till RC2. Um, I think that's okay, but I do think we, like if we're not gonna have that, uh, and it also depends on how far we have between releases, uh, right? Like, you know, if, if, if we can have something uh, like between RC1 and RC2, if it's like a month, then I don't care as much, but if it's like gonna be three months, then I would want an experience for users that gives them a better start to try and, even if it's just a basic template or, you know, something where it creates, an easier experience for the, the policy itself um, than a copy paste from a website type of thing, right? Yeah. Um, so I, you know, we we gotta we gotta balance the whole again back to the usability thing. Um, but yeah, that's a digress. I think uh, okay. I think we got a way forward um, here. We'll go ahead and um, I think we've already got the release for notation Corgo. Um, the only the only thing that I was curious on is because we did technically merge um, we did technically merge one other merge after the release, which is the uh, let me see. So we had uh, I think there was one other PR after this, right? Seven days ago that got merged. And I wanna know if that is something that we need at all. Uh, oh no. Okay, so that one's fine. Why is there anything after release? Yeah, no, okay, so never mind. No, we're good. Yeah, there's nothing merged after release on Corgo. I thought there was, but no, we're good. So that already, this notation Corgo is already released, alpha four. Um, so now we would need to do notation go. Um, I think that one hasn't 
change. We were, we were concerned that there might be something there for Alpha 4, but now um, Samir, uh, Vanny, that there, we know there's not. So you can go ahead and cut Alpha 4. And then the client, then basically, since we're also now locked on the client, right, we can we can go ahead and do that, right, to release that. Yeah, is that, uh, it is Samir Vani, is that, does that sound sound good, what, what we discussed for Alpha 3? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I think the only thing I'm saying is Alpha 4 is released and whenever Alpha 5 is ready, before KubeCon, after KubeCon, that doesn't matter. When alpha five is ready, we cut alpha five. KubeCon demo is locked down on alpha four. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Whenever it's whenever it's ready is when it's ready, and I, I just think like we got to just decide what that bar is. Part of it is also getting this approved. Um, you know, for the test framework, I think will help us overall. Um, you know, it looks like um, yeah, there's still folks on our side that need to like get get one or more approvals here, um, but. But I know, uh, Pratesh, last Thursday, you said you were going to take a look at this as well, because um, I think that, that'll really help us out, at least for some of the foundational um, scenarios, yeah. make sure things work. So I did um, practice other PRs about this because they were blocking. There was one uh, uh, okay. user level and system level. Okay. Then, uh, prioritization. Do you want to discuss? I think is she here? No. Okay. Do you want to discuss that PR? It's uh, the the seal the Indian CLI. Uh, not the the one where we are defining the the, uh, the, the one with the, the directory store one. The yep. trust. Yeah. The, yeah. That one. Okay. Yeah. That the top. That's the top on the list. So yeah, we think that's. One thirty seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think Patrick is here. Maybe. Uh, Maybe Pratesh, if you have some questions. Yeah. Now. So uh, it's one thirty-seven. Yeah, one thirty-seven. I'll pull it up. Hold on. Yeah. One thirty-seven. Yes. Yeah. One thirty-seven. Okay. Sorry. One clarification, Milin, the David. Uh, uh, so are we telling us so, five is going also going to have the cozy support along with the trust or trust policy because we have only one PR left? Is that true? I think yeah, I mean, if we release, I mean, if there's one PR left, right, the that's the, the one that uh, you brought up, 365. Um, yeah. and once that's merged, it's basically the, there's cozy support in notation. Yeah. Yeah. So alpha four, uh, sorry, alpha five can have both the changes in, and that's fine, right? If we yeah. can get, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I would suggest that uh, uh, this time we we create uh, the milestone and after that we make the issue clear uh, <laughs> that uh, in, uh, included in which uh, <laughs> in, in yeah. which milestone that then we can uh, post it somewhere then we, we can uh, both agree with that yeah uh, that and I also, yeah yeah that's I yeah. All... <laughs> <laughs> okay please continue one yeah, no, no, that's fine. Uh, that That's the reason I wanted to clarify because if that is the only PR, there is only one PR left for the COSA support. If we can add that along with the trust or trust policy PR, right, then Alpha Pi can have both. So if that is what we are all good at, then we can, we can stick to that milestone, right? Yeah, maybe we also need to adjust some issues because currently it is in RC1. Maybe we can also uh, change it to alpha 5. Uh, as I mentioned in, in the Slack stress, because there are several uh, ongoing implementation also, uh, also for trust policy as trust store, especially from CLI part, but uh, that work is in the dev branch. So we can mark some issue previously in RC1 for, for those commands, but uh, now we can think about it uh, to, to change it to alpha 5 so that we, we will know what's, what's the work left for the trust policy, trust store from CLI point of view, and also what's left for, for the cozy. Then we can cut the, this alpha 5 release maybe in upcoming two weeks. So you, you, you are telling we will include the CLI command experience also because it is part of the dev branch. Uh, yeah, yes, because that part, the, the, no, the new notation cert 
command mm -hmm. is already in the dev branch. Mm -hmm. uh, and also the spec, uh, I, I have updated, uh, uh, I think most specs for all the CLI commands. So after all the spec review and merged, we, we, we probably need to do some uh, slight implementation for, for, uh, for the CLI uh, uh, based on the spec. So, so I mean, for the alpha five, we can include uh, the all the new CLI based on the on the spec and also notation, uh, cozy work and also the trust uh, policy trust store experience. Okay, I, have, I have a slightly different view on that. I think uh, let's add what's available. We don't have to pull things from RC one here. Uh, even without the search store add command, we know people can add the cert by manually going in the directory and do it. Uh, if we release in chunks, we probably release faster is my thought process. Um, anyhow, we will come to the decision once we have that PR checked in for trust store and trust policy first. But let's talk about who, who owns that going forward. So it seems Rakesh has his stuff ready, but it seems he, that somebody else from your team has also the trust store, trust policy work completed in a dev branch. Yeah, I'm that working on the trust store implementation. That's okay. the, uh, some, whatever Samir is telling is the first pull request that I just added that 342. So in 370, we have three items uh, highlighted with respect to the hello signing changes and also the command line output. If you see the 342, that is actually part of 342 pull request, but it is part of the dev branch. That is exactly what Samir is talking about. Go ahead, Samir. Thank I just wanted no, to. No, that's fine. I think so. Basically, Rakesh is has is is ready with his PR, but it seems. Somebody else is also ready with their changes or Patrick is ready with his changes. So let's decide who owns it and they should, we should give them a, we should enable them to check in their changes after alpha four. Uh, I think we talked about this uh, after, after the alpha four release, Rakesh's change just integrates the CLI with the library. That is a kind of a more point PR that just does that. Uh, I, I think Patrick's also has updates to the uh, README getting started, et cetera, uh, yeah. removing the notation cert commands. So the, the quickest way to enable the trust or trust policy is to take Rakesh's PR, and then we can do whatever is incremental from Patrick's PR. That, that, that would be my suggestion. But that way you're also breaking it down into smaller set of changes. Yeah, I think it's fine. I, I think I think we're I think we're good. I mean, release alpha four, and then we can start merging yeah. these different the spec one that you have here um, that we were getting and we're not anymore, and then we could merge cozy, merge whatever else is the highest priority things. It doesn't matter as much at that point. Um, I, I do think I, I do think like the bigger conversation of work that's basically done that's milestone for RC one. I think on Thursday, this is probably a good time to have that conversation of stuff that is basically already complete that's been labeled RC1. Um, if we want to, um, you know, put put those into an earlier mi milestone or not, I, I don't want to take up the time today on that, but but yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a different conversation. Correct. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll have to spend some time on this system versus user precedence. Yeah. So what are we, I mean, what are we, like, it seems like we're still stuck here. I'd like to like flush it out if we can. Um, I mean, it looks like a number of reviews have happened. Um, what is, what's the holdup? What's um, like, where are we at? With the okay. So the first thing is like, what we don't know what we want to do there. So I just bring the latest version to like uh, the issue. This one? Yeah. It looks like uh, 203, issue 203 I pinged on chat. Yeah, yeah. Right here. yeah. 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 The, the issue is that we don't know what kind of attack we want to defend against. Like basically why we want to do this. Do, do we have any is a story around this? Why we want to have a default here? Or why do we want to have it at system level, at both at system level and user level?
You mean why do you want both options at all? Yep. It's like why not just fail the build if it finds a config at both the levels? The, we fail the sign or verify option, not build. I'm, I'm, I might be wrong there. Let not anyone override them or let not use it as a union. Like, I think what, the, like the union is the most like troublesome and confusing. I don't think we should do a union. It should be a clear this or that. Uh, it will make troubleshooting, debugging, and like understanding the behavior difficult. I, I don't think we had the intent of having a union of both settings. Okay, so uh, it makes sense. Now it's like, why do we even want that? We should, should be able to specify. Can we just determine? Okay, if it's a, if a config is present at system level, which means it's a system level config, and if it's a config is present at user level, it's a user level config. And if it's present at both level, just fail it because we don't know what the intention here. Uh, Patrick, I'd love to hear your thoughts here. Do you have any? Yeah. Um... So currently we are separating the two uh, user levels. So for a general user, we don't allow them to read, write, uh, sorry, we don't allow them to write and delete from the system level, right? That's good. Eh? So this PR here, um, it, it still allows people to write to both, is that right? Yes, for this one, um, they could give the the path of the uh, of the level. So, for example, if the path is the system level, then the um, then the config will uh, take the path. Okay, so if they yeah. so if they specify the system level, and then they do another change for user level, then what do we what do we do? What happens at that point? Sorry, can you? Uh, can you can so they you... so they first so they first choose uh, let's say a system level setting uh -huh. that sets the trust store trust policy at the system level, and then they change it somehow to try and write to the user level. What happens at that point? If there is already a system level, um. If they change to write to user level, then they will be uh, uh, then they will be uh, writing into user level first. So then you'll have it in two places. For trust store and trust policy, we don't allow that. For trust store and trust policy, we uh, if you want to add a, for example, a certificate, um, it will only be written into user level. It will never be touched. Uh, to a system level. If you want to add or delete um, a certificate from a trust store, that only works on user level. But okay. if you want to read, like show a certificate or list all the certificates in the trust store, um, we do both. For list, we do both. We, we list all certificates in system level and user level. But well, why would you list it in user level if the, if the config isn't using the user level? Uh, because we want to, if if the user want uh, want to list all the certificates on this machine in the trust store, we want to list both. Right. Yeah. Uh, there, are, there are two things. Can we just separate trust store and trust policy from other configs? Like we have to, we have three two different configs. One is for signing keys, and one is for. Yes, basically, basically they are separated. Uh, the trust store trust policy is separated from the config files. The config files, I I believe the the for the configs dot uh, JSON file, a um, a general user can uh, override or can um, modify uh, that config JSON file uh, in the system level. At this moment, so. Mm -hmm. Those logic are separated from uh, trust or trust policy. Yes, and this is only for trust policy, not trust store. Um, 
So this is all about Dr. Jason Foyles. We're not talking about trust store right now. So for trust policy, why will we want to, like I'm just questioning there is like, why do we want even defaults there? Or why do we want even user to specify? If con, like, should it be just like if, if it's presented one position, let's assume that that's the only one. If it's presented both the user and system level, let's fail the signing or verification operation. Like, why do we want to allow user to configure it? That, that, uh, that Pritish, I don't think that is the standard behavior, right? Uh, normally, if you take the standardization at any place, if you specify system and user, user overrides the system level, but nothing should fail. Yeah. I don't know if that is a good user experience. But if you allow overriding with user, then what's the use of system level? Apart from management perspective, we are saying user cannot enforce anything. They can only guide it. Plus you can, then you're doing union of things. I think yeah. like I, I, I did write about some security aspect here. And I want to understand more what we what was the security aspect here. No, I think this is here's my take. I, I think this is getting a bit confusing. I'm I'm looking at the directory structured spec. I think we define what are the valid paths for system level and user level. I think what what it's not tied down to is uh, for example, it says it's recommended to install notation and its plugin at system level. It's possible to install at user user level. Um, yeah, we might want to take a bit stab at like we might want to change that statement. I'm like, why do we want to do that? We already did that, but we are again in alpha stages. Why do we want to support both the levels from security perspective? No, I. I I think I want to take a step back, probably have Shiva involved in the discussion, mm -hmm. uh, talk about like, I think we are talking about either somebody installs this at a system, in, like a system level installation or a user level installation. And then what do we expect off of each, uh, how each install to behave? And then I guess go forward from there. I think we're missing some some homework and actual like end user scenarios. And we, I think we are we are trying to take some decisions without fully understanding the usage. I would like I would like to punt this further if it's not blocking anything else. So, so, so Yi, can you maybe comment? I mean, what this has been the number one re requested thing to review. Is this blocking other things in the in the grander scheme of things? The uh, 137. Uh, no, I, I don't think it <laughs> broke something else because uh, uh, previously we, we have some others uh, before this uh, PR. So maybe those PR got merged. So this one is the top topic. So I will check with the Shui later to see whether this really uh, broke others. Mm, I don't think there is any blocker uh, for this PM. Okay. Yeah, I agree yeah. though. It's a, it's a pretty fundamental thing that we need to agree upon though, because it is it is confusing um, because there's there's different, you know, <sighs> like even you look at this PR, uh, Right, there's user level, system level, union level. That right there is a very a whole other interesting thing. And then within that, it's like, what do you, you know, what do you want the behavior to be if it was union level? Like, what, what would if somebody writes to one of each? I mean, there's a lot of questions. It makes it really confusing. Um, and ultimately, yeah. you're right. It comes back to the spec of what do we want the behavior to be, right? Um, and I'm, I, I don't have any like super strong opinions right now on this topic, but I, I do think we need to come to a consensus on, on what, what it is. Um, and, and it ideally is, <laughs> I, I hear you, Melinda, like we, it'd be great if we had something that wasn't extremely complicated to try and troubleshoot, right? Because 
you know, I could totally see people trying to write things in two, three places. And then, you know, the behavior starts getting really odd with, with a really complicated JSON document for the policy in two, three yeah. places. And it just becomes really painful. Right. Um, so it, it, that, that's the one thing I think is important is that we're very clear on, you know, to the end user, like what, you know, what the experience is. Um, I, I think simpler is better. So if, if <laughs> you know, if you could just pick one or the other and stick with that, that'd be great. Um, but, but again, there's, there's different pieces of this configuration, right? Like, like if, if it's just something as simple as um, like so specifying, let's say we want to always use cozy encoding format. Um, I don't think that should matter. A user should be able to potentially set that, right? And so there's a gray area here of, of where where do you draw the line, right? Yeah, I think that's that's what is it's coming to like the I think there's more context here on what each of these things which can be a system or user, then what makes sense in both of both of them. Like I'm this I think this this is turning out to be more complex than than we initially thought. Like why? Like I'm 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 even open to uh, entertaining. Like why don't we just have a single single level to begin with and add the multi level later? I I think I I, I want to take a few steps back and understand this better and and discuss with Shiva uh, who wrote this spec and i think steve has some background around why we need this it'd be good to have when is he available i think he's he's on leave right now is it no he's back now yeah he's back um i can i can definitely ping him and, and talk to him about this and we can circle circle back on our side as well on kind of i mean more, more thoughts here. Really i think i think in general i mean if i look at his comments on this i i think you know the the issue here i mean it was kind of like right from july uh it's just why don't we just you know secure by default and so i think i i don't know um but i, I we can circle back um on this as well and what on what we think and then come back together yeah um, no i understand uh i understand that like generically secure by default but when you try to apply this to each of these right like the signing yeah. dot JSON and config dot JSON and trust store and trust policy, there there may be different things. All right. You, yeah, there's different know. combinations that I don't think have been thought out, and I don't I'm not sure if Steve has even thought about all those. Yeah. So the I'm I'm kind of going back to kind of the drawing board, asking like what are the typical installations and like ways in which we want users enable users. And I think if we clearly lay out that, that will help something like we want an administrator to install notation, uh, set up trust policy, trust store, and then user accounts. Any user account can log in and use the notation installation. That's like for the system level install. I think similar like what are the scenarios for user level install and system level? I, I think some more background will will help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like it, it may be that some some of these objects you don't even like. Like if it's a system level install, users may not be able to uh, do a do anything on like modify trust or trust policy. Just read. Uh, Whereas if it's a user level install, then then they can modify it, et cetera. I, I think there are a few combinations there. I, I just want to hear more about the specific scenarios that we want to enable. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I think I think the the like like let's just say you did everything user, what's why why go to system? And then the generic answer is oh well it's locked down. Okay, well tell me more more specifically what's <laughs> What is more of the context into that, right? That where where you where we really would need that. Yeah, yeah. I'm apprehensive building this out with the current stance. I think we'll we'll just kind of overcomplicate it. Yeah. Okay. Um. 
Okay. Well, yeah, let's both, let's both circle back on our own. I don't think we need to keep on this one on the call. I think we both need to kind of go back and think of what we want to have happen. But I, I agree. I think we're all in agreement that it's really confusing right now with how it's all these options and what the, what the experience and expectations are and what we think the behavior should be. So we just need to kind of think and then come, come back together on it. Okay. All right. Um, oh yeah, the documentation structure uh, document's been updated. I do think that we should um, some like start to try and um, consider like for some of the spots where we would want to like maybe move move the the documentation um, over uh, out of let's say you know the the notary project because of then you kind of have it in two places right and so um I, I think that's part of the part of the challenge but there's still work to go here i mean there's a pretty pretty good size pr um that was put in by zach that i approved um but we, we definitely need to spend more time continuing to try and like get this in better shape but you can see here it was updated um like four days ago, so we're 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 uh, for one update. <laughs> it's been quite a while, so it's it's good to start. But we're uh, yeah. I don't know anything you want to add, um, E. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Um. Let's see. So, oh, um. Okay. I know I've been kind of asking this question um for a little while but also just in terms of like um for kubecon which is in a couple of weeks is there any um like aws type experiences or integrations that like let's say with alpha 4 that we release that we that you you would want to point to um for from your side no, I think uh, at this point, from a public perspective, we don't want to point uh, any AWS uh, specific thing. Okay. Uh, our our okay. take is to just keep uh, KubeCon presentation uh, from a notary perspective only. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Do you need any or want any help, um, Samir or Vanny, on cutting off a four at this point, or do you think you're you're good? So I think in alpha four, uh, I'll do, so so let's figure out the action items for the alpha four. So we need to. I think I can. I know how to cut the uh, library, but for the release itself or for the notation CLI, I don't think so. We sat through that process. So if we can okay. do it right now, then if you're ready to cut notation CLI now, I'm yeah, off. yeah, I think so. We well, can we need to update dependencies before that. Yeah. Uh, I thought that had been done because the only dependency we're waiting is on the PR that we're deciding to not merge. So I don't think there's any. Uh, well, if you want to, <laughs> if we want to double check. Um, it would be good to just double check because the the obviously notation go is going to be pinned to a alpha three hash commit thing. Um, so if we want it to to look nice, um, that at a minimum, that's probably what we would do. But this this looks like it's twenty twenty two nine twenty seven, um, which if we go there. It's just it might cause confusion if someone looks at oh this is alpha four release but it depends upon alpha three of go notation go. Uh, twenty twenty two nine twenty seven yeah so it is yeah you're right so it is it is actually slightly outdated. Um, it's if it's twenty twenty two nine twenty seven it's not the latest version so. Yeah, so it would probably be good to have one update um, to at least use the latest version of notation go. I think 
I think the yeah, and the and the Corgo wouldn't be there, right? Oh no, it is. Why? <laughs> I thought that was part of the goal is to not use notation Corgo. It's a direct dependency. No, direct dependency would be there. Notation Go will have direct dependency on Corgo, right? Yeah, notation... I just noticed. I mean, I just noticed that. I'm like, what? I mean, I. It why should. Is have. It, why is it not? Why is it not depending on Notation Go? Versus. Wait, no, no, no. This oh is... no! Sorry, oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, I'm yeah. in the wrong repo. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry to throw you off. I was, I was, I'm throwing us for a loop there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> No worries. <laughs> false alarm. False alarm. <laughs> Although, oh no, no. There you go. No, that's that's new. I don't know why it's that. I wanted to dig that up. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, so then it sounds like uh, we do have one uh, dependency update PR to fix here because that shouldn't be there in my mind. And if it is, yep. then that needs to be a backlog item of why is that there. Um, and then we also want to bump this up because it's using, well, 19. yeah, there's, there's like 9.27. So no, it's September 27. So it's not super old, but we also probably want to just reflect alpha four, right? Yeah. Um, so it's, so it's at least clear um, for the latest commit. Uh, sh sorry, shall we include the latest uh, PR for the notation go to cut uh, an alpha four? This is is that going to is that going to break anything? Because it's only additional cozy support, right? Uh, yeah, maybe we, we can just use the uh, cut alpha four to use the latest. I mean, for the notation go. Yeah, the latest yeah. commit. Yeah, 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 and then and then see what we're using. Like, ideally, get rid of the notation corvo reference here. Yeah. Um, and that, yeah, but hopefully, hopefully that it. is yeah. hopefully that's not very dependent. If it is, then I don't want to wait delay, but we just need to file a issue to get it rid of it. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, I would say easy fix. Let's do it. Otherwise, we can do it as alpha five or whatever we decide next. To yeah, do. that's right. Yeah. Okay. So, you may I say you take the pen on cutting the alpha four, uh, you'll do create a PR for remaining work and we'll just review it and we'll just watch all the changes you're making. Then alpha five, Vani and I can cut. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we, we, yeah. yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Yeah, so so we just need to, yeah, so you can go ahead right now and release the alpha four on the uh, notation go. And then, uh, yeah, then you, you'll come back to our house to, to do this. I mean, hopefully this is literally like, a PR that we can, hopefully it's a PR we can just bump the version after you release the notation go, all right? And then this hopefully is not very much work. And if it is significant work, then we just file an issue and do it later. And then cut the release. Yep, that's uh, uh, And for the, for the notation, um, for the notation uh, commits maybe, uh, we we should not include the latest one because I remember the uh, the science back the science back uh, was merged, but but that is targeting for uh, post alpha four. So maybe for for notation alpha. Uh, notation alpha four, we we should uh, not use the latest. I uh, think commit. we can have that and just say it's not feature not completed in a release note. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Then we then yeah. Then we or use the latest commit. Yeah. Sounds good. Hey, hang on. So hey, one more. Time. We're over. We're over on time. Okay. But, uh, we're over then. We we'll do it. We we'll do do it Thursday. That's fine. Thanks. Sounds good. Okay. Thank. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.